are so many stories of families who are told by their doctors that there is nothing more they can do to help with their medical issues. But what if there was something else that can be done to help symptoms of autism, ADHD, and even multiple sclerosis? We have journalist Susanna Meadows exploring these cases and her own personal story in the brand new book, and you see it right there, The Other Side of Impossible, Ordinary People Who Are Faced Daunting Medical Challenges and Refuse to give up, and Susanna's with us right now. Thanks, Thanks for being Susanna, here. Oh, I'm so happy to be here, thank you. Well, you write about your personal experiences. What happened to your son when he was three? When he was three, he was diagnosed with juvenile idiopathic arthritis, which can cause painful swelling in the joints and lead to disability. We started him on the medication, but it didn't do much for his arthritis, and it also made him feel sick. And as I watched him lie on the couch, I could not accept that that was going to be his life. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we did is we ended up hearing about a mom who had luck with her own son when she took gluten and dairy out of his diet and gave him fish oil and probiotics. And we talked it over with our son's doctor. He was not concerned about risks, so we thought we had to try it. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't not try it. And this helps, you know, Arthritis is an inflammation mm -hmm. disease, right? Mm -hmm. Autoimmune. And I have multiple sclerosis, and I have been reading about this. And I was diagnosed 12 years ago, and I read Dr. Terry Wall's story. Mm -hmm. And what a miraculous story. Very similar. She mm -hmm. followed this macrobiotic diet, and you follow her story in this book. Tell me about her. Well, when I first heard about her, and I, I heard about this woman whose MS had progressed to such a state that she was using her wheelchair, and then she changed her diet and she used electrical stimulation on her muscles, within the year she was riding her bike again. It's amazing. amazing. So yeah. what about your son? You tried this new diet at nine years old. He's fine? He's fine. And he was never expected to be able to come off medication, but he did. And it's been years. And he is just a perfectly healthy nine-year-old boy. I think we need to read more about this because, you know, I know a lot of people that suffer from autoimmune. And mm -hmm. they have tried so many different drugs. And right. they're at their last hope. Right. And I think it's important. This is a book of hope. And when I was first diagnosed, all I wanted to read about was people who came out of it well right. and changed things. Right. And so I think that this is an amazing book for Thank everyone. You. I think I felt um, I was so surprised that even though we had, even though people have exhausted their medical options, that there could still be something else that might help them. And that's why I wanted to write the book. What are some, some of the di diet changes that your son, you've, you've implemented for your son? Uh, so now, so he, we also focus a lot on having a lot of whole food, so mm -hmm. uh, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit, um, and the gluten, it was really interesting. I, I learned that there is something about gluten that is particular that can cause trouble for people. Uh, it's the one protein our body cannot fully digest, mm -hmm. and in a certain percentage of the population, that leads to all sorts of problems. Right. Well, Susanna Meadows, the book is called The Other Side of Impossible. If your children are diagnosed with something and you want to change their diet to see if that works, you got to read this book. Thank you so much. Thank you.